Hi everyone, welcome to uh, day one of the uh, 2011 Advent Circuit Per Day calendar that I'm going to do. I thought I'd start with a, uh, a useful piece of test equipment that everyone should have and uh, if you're going to build along or you know follow along you might want to build this circuit because it's actually quite useful for some later circuits. It's a, uh, a voltage regulated supply that's variable from about 2.5 volts to about 13.8 volts assuming you've got 15 or 16 volts input voltage and it has uh, a, a fixed current limit but uh, I think if you if you build it for real you should probably make the limiting resistor um, switchable so that you could say have a about a 30 milliamp current limit um, and say a couple of hundred milliamp current limit I've used a BD139 in mine which limits the uh, the power handling of the entire device uh, quite a bit but you might want to use a TIP series transistor everything else should be fine um, the 2N3904s or any generic NPN should be fine for the transistors in the circuit I've made a, a limited attempt to temperature compensate the um, the voltage with a, a 1N4148 here that will partially compensate at least the uh, the temperature coefficient of this transistor's base and interjunction. The actual uh, regulator uh, reference source is a red lead which is not a particularly good source but it's it's good enough and also it gives us an indicator lead that will uh, whenever it's on the circuit is is at least regulating if it dims or goes out then um, or goes out completely anyway then the circuit has lost regulation and it's either in current limit or um, or the regulator itself has dropped out. It's a pretty simple circuit. You've got uh, a Darlington pair here as a pass transistor that actually does the main regulation. This transistor will get turned on when the voltage across the limiting resistor exceeds its base emitter drop and it will cut off the current that's uh, being fed to the power transistor. This implements your, your voltage limit, uh, current limit. And your voltage uh, is a feedback circuit that also pulls the um, the drive current for the pass transistors away uh, and tries to keep the red lead and the, the voltage across here approximately the same. It's very simple. Uh, it's pretty reliable. It's not a particularly fantastic regulator um, compared to, say, an integrated one, but it's very cheap, very simple, and you can build it in, well, I built this one in 30, 40 minutes and probably spent only a little bit longer than that actually designing it. So, let's have a look at the actual circuit. Forgive me, it's uh, it's currently sitting on a solderless breadboard. I'll probably build it on a piece of cardboard or maybe into a little box. Over here's the pot that uh, varies the voltage. It's just a 5k linear pot. You can see I've got a small heatsink on the, um, the BD139. Uh, to keep the video short, I won't go through testing it in detail. In fact, I might uh, might build an instrument or a dummy load for testing purposes later on. That might be one of the other days for this uh, series of videos. But um, you have to trust me that it does indeed work. The, the voltage regulation is quite good. The current limiting is, is absolutely perfect. Um, for example, you can stick an LED straight across the output of it, and it won't blow it up. It'll uh, it's currently set for about 30 milliamps, which is you know, a bit more than what you'd normally run through a LED, but fairly safe. That's, uh, that's probably its biggest feature. It, if you set it for around 20 or 30 milliamps, um, at least initially, you know, when you do your smoke test, when you first plug your circuit in, you'll, uh, there's very few circuits that that will blow up. Even if you've made a gross wiring fault, the, uh, the red lead will go out if you short the output, and you'll know immediately that you've uh, probably screwed something up and you need to, need to fix it. Construction-wise, uh, this could be built on a very small you know, piece of board or perhaps on a, I was thinking about a piece of cardboard with a hole drilled through it for the pot and then calibrate the, the pot. I just plug my multimeter into it to uh, when I want to set the voltage but uh, you might want to add a meter. Um, and yeah, down here it's actually getting its power from a 15 volt unregulated plug pack that I've just got. It's a, at least a rectified one and it's just feeding the front end. There's a sufficiently large capacitor in the plug pack, but if you don't have a, if you just have an AC one, you'll have to add your own bridge regulator, bridge rectifier, and a big input capacitor on the output. Don't put too much capacitance on the output; it might make it a little bit unstable. Um, I haven't done any uh, dynamic analysis on the actual circuit to to think too much about its uh, frequency response, but 100 nanos or so on the output is plenty sufficient. Okay, um, we'll see what we come up with tomorrow, uh, and yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy this as much as I am. Uh, it's uh, 
going to be a challenge keeping up uh, one project per day, but uh, maybe the some of the future projects won't be quite as complicated as this, but we'll see how we go. I've got some uh, some RF thoughts and some uh, some simple you know, lab test equipment and jigs and things that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Alrighty, see you later.